I'm here with Brian Tum. We're outside Old Trafford, uh, two-one to City. Felt that coming? Yeah, they, they battered us. Um, you can't even sugarcoat it. They battered us. Like you, you've got to go at teams. You've got to just have a go and take a chance. We're at home, like you're in front of the biggest crowd of the year. You, you've got to have a go at teams and just play and back yourself and have a bit of belief. Like every time we run at them, I look like we're going to create something. Like, like Steve said, Kyle Walker's on a booking after three minutes, and the first time you take him on is in about the 81st minute. Like, just back yourself, have a bit of belief. But if it comes from the manager, the manager's got, you saw from the 21st, 23rd second or whatever, the ball's gone to Edison, and instead of going pushing out, they're going, all right, we'll just sit here. We'll just sit here. Just go and play at people. The only team that's gone at them this year is Everton at home, and they got a point out of it. And they could have been out of sight if they hadn't have had a man sent off and they lost the game from there. Just but have a bit of belief in yourself, boys. We're the fucking biggest team in the country. Just go and play with a red shirt in pride. Have a bit of bottle about yourself and play. Because the team looked the attacking team, on paper. You know what I mean? You've got Jess, Rash, Martial and Lukaku. We played at Arsenal last week at their own patch and after 10 minutes we turned up because he went and had a goal. And he said, listen, their back three is shocking. But Otamendi and company, if <laughs> playing for Stoke or something because they're shite, the pair of them, you've got to go and have a bit of faith. Fabian Delph at left back, you couldn't get a game under Mancini and Pellegrini. Now he's one of the best left backs in the league. Just believe yourselves. Like, you're not going to win leagues and you're not going to win cups if you don't have a goal. 11 points now, it's a massive gamble. Like, you can't play defensive and just gamble on catching 11 points and 8 points. It's stupid. Oh, I know. It's going to start. He's going to start tossing off league you know games I mean? again, isn't he? He's going, to go, he's going to go and try and win the Champions League. He's going to put all his eggs in the basket like the Europa League and I'm going to go to teams and get whacked 3-4-5 and they're going to be singing this and that, United are shit, United are this, playing part the bus football. We've let 4,000 of them Stockport clowns come in and sing part the bus, part the bus, Man United. Unreal. Tom? I mentioned before the game about wanting to play and wanting to win battles and every single 50-50 second ball was theirs. Fernandinho was, went to centre-back for the first 50 minutes of the second half and then we pumped it long like we should have done. Lukaku's not winning anything. We didn't go for their weak spots. Like I said, Kyle Walker was booked in the third minute. We didn't run at him for the rest of the game. Fabian Delph was, was at fault for our goal. We didn't go at him in the second half at all. Rashford didn't look like he wanted it. Martial didn't look like he wanted it. Zlatan was poor when he came on. Too many flicks weren't getting hold of the ball. That midfield battle, like we said, did not happen at all. They had three people in midfield. They only had one who wanted to defend Fernandinho. And we didn't exploit it. It was just give it to De Gea. We'll pump it long. And Rocco was doing the right thing, coming short, collecting the ball, goes up five yards, what does he do? Plays it long into the channel and there's no one there. It was just route one football and it was the ex exactly the same for the first half up until they scored and we looked all right, so we started to press a little bit more. And then in the second half, it just flattened again. Like It was like Mourinho got in the dressing room at half time and just gone, we'll take a point, lads, just keep doing what you were doing. And we didn't go and press him, we didn't harry him or anything. They get their second goal and he's gone, Oh, what do we do now? Because they had no plan B at all, no plan B whatsoever. Why does, why does Jose do this? I remember Jose play when he was Chelsea manager, but, banging teams so like this. Yeah, when he played with Chelsea, though, he, he had a base and then he had players. He played like he had today and he had players that had belief and, and they've got a point to prove. When he had his, his Duffs and his Robins and, you know, new to the country and Drogba's and that, and he just want to bully players. You've got, like, and I, I love Lukaku, I love him. He scores goals for you, but does he have that big a chance today as well? Big heart on his chest that says, "Listen, I'm the main man at this football team. I want to get the ball and I want to score goals and I want to do things for your football club. I want to win your trophies." I think he's, he's at Everton. He's in this little middle mindset now where he's I'm at a big team. You see it a lot with players, don't you? Where they sign for big clubs and they go, "You know what? I've cracked it here. I'm on 200 grand a week. I'm laughing my head off here. I've got, I've got the number nine shirt on at the biggest football club in the country, and I can just go through the bits. I scored a fourth against Newcastle. I scored a fourth against Brighton, or whoever we fucking score four against. We score four against everyone else when we're at home. We're laughing, smacking teams, go to, to Arsenal and whack three. And they just, I think they just, they swallow in themselves when they play the big boys. Like City last year, there's time, like we played City last year, and one of their goals come from basically Collar off, walked 20 yards with the ball and he whacked it, <laughs> missed the header and he scored. And again, they were just pulling wide and they've gone, well, I've pressed it. It's like, it's like they play with four and six. Like the front four, they've got a job to do. And as soon as it goes on a third, OK, let's drop, let's drop. Yeah. And let's just contain and play. And on them, you can't do that. Sani's feet, Sterling's feet, Azusi's feet, they're going to move you around the pitch. There's times where if we've dived in and could have given away penalties. And I'm not sure about that Herrera one at the end where I think if you don't go down like a fairy, he gets the pen. But I'm not sure. Like, 
you've got to, you've got to have faith and you've got to back him. But every time we've played the big teams this year, we've had a 10, 15 minute spell where we've got the crowd up and gone at him, and it's just like ah, uh, like Tottenham at home. We shouldn't have beat Tottenham. We got a lucky little flick on a Martial scuffling in the corner, and we've took the point, and we took the three points and gone home. Like I, I don't know. I just I think he's hit it from set pieces today as well. Exactly. Two. It, it, like. I've not seen so this that, so yeah. before the game. So before the game, if we can see the set piece of these, all they had in the first half, they had company, that was it. I think also Mendy's six foot or under that. They have no big presence whatsoever. And then David Silva gets a little bit of a scuffy goal. And then Otto Mendy gets the exact same. Conceding we, we talked about when we signed our players, the size and the power. We'd be able to we'd be able to score from set pieces, we'd be able to clear set pieces easily. Who do we have on that pitch today? Matic, Rojo, Lindelof when he came on for Rojo, um, Lukaku, Smallwin, we've got all these players. And no one wants to take charge and win a header. Lukaku just cleared it, he's just he's cleared it straight same. to a seat, he's, man. He's got the same when he brought Ibrimovic on. He's come for the corner and we just put a flat one in. Just hang one up and let him attack it. And if he goes and smashes someone and puts them through the post, he puts them through the post, at least it gets the crowd up and gets us going. Put a flat one in and let him edit away. Every second ball, every first ball, he just wanted it more. Really it's, it's I know how you feel. Um, is it over? Yeah, it's done. Yeah. Oh, it's done. It's Definitely. Over. Champions League now, isn't it? That's it's all it is. Done. Like, you, you've, got, you've got to expect that team to drop four wins. To, to drop four wins and get beat four times. And they've played 16 games so far and they've not been beat once. And they're relentless. You watch Guardiola on the side, he's just that yo. He's like, I want to win. I want to win games of football. If you don't pull wide five extra yards, I want to tell you what I'm doing and you're going to do it or else you're out of the team. I don't know if we've just settled and thought, you know what, they're really good. Let's just have a go. Let's finish second or something and let's just have a bit of a party with it. Like, believe That's, that's not United, is it's it? It's not United. It's not United. But it's not been United for about four years. And whether that's coming from the top to the bottom or whether we've got to change something like that structure, but it's not coming out properly because we're signing big boys and we're signing big players and they're just not doing the bits that we need them to do for big money. No mentality. Don't have the, we're, yeah, we're signing Lukaku who's going to get us 20 goals a season, but he's not got a winning mentality, has he? We're signing players like Berbatov who's coming in around the Champions League areas with Tottenham. We're signing players like Ronaldo from Europe. We're signing all these... Owen, who's had successes with Liverpool when he went abroad with Real Madrid. We were signing players who knew how to win trophies, who knew how to win games. Lukaku's just been a just been a one man team at Everton, hasn't he? He doesn't know how to win a Champions League or a Premier League or get into the top four. Cup, no, man. we're not we the players we're signing are good players, but they don't have that United mentality. They don't have the I'll, I'll run an extra ten yards for the team, I, I'll get the crowd with If we'd have, if we'd have got Guardiola, and obviously we've got we've got Mourinho and he's done well last year. If we'd have got if we'd have got Guardiola, we'd have had Sane, Jesus, Walker all of them. We'd have had them all because they come for the gaffer, they come to play football, they want to get, they want to get the ball down and play. You're not going to want to play it for that. The, the name's going to pull you in, but you're not going to want to play that type of football, sit in and play for... Martial looked like he couldn't be arsed. I felt sorry for him today. I felt sorry for him. He's, not, he's playing wing back. He's playing right wing back so half the time. Him. Following Fabian Delph. That's what I'm... Fabian Delph, mate. The best thing Fabian Delph's ever done is scored a winner against Liverpool in the semi-final of the FA Cup. And that's it. He's been on the sidelines for two years at City, picking his ass, doing nothing on like 200 whatever a week, and he made us look shit. That sums it up.